Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Unstable. That's right, folks, we're back in our unstable world. We're doing some modded Minecraft. We're hanging out down here in the server basement. Uh, things are running swimmingly down here. All things are running wonderfully. Uh, I did finish up that little project. Well, I don't know if it's finished finished, but uh, it's, in, it's in pretty good shape. Let's go take a look at it. Uh, what we did last week was we worked over here in our, um, in our newly formed uh, ore processing room and really I gotta tell you, four alloy smelt or four sag mills and four alloy smelters, it, it's doing the trick. I, I had, like I said, I had oh what, 17, 18,000 iron or something like that, and it, I, it, I don't have any iron ore left. So if you, you know, like if you go right here, I have no iron ore, none. I have no gold ore. I have no tin ore. Oh, I do have tin. Why do I have tin? Um, did I not put that into a filter? We'll have to take a look at that. What else? Uh, lead. Oh, I got some lead too. Why do I not have lead? Why do I have lead left? Hmm. Let's go take a look at that. I'll show you what I did in the back here and that maybe we can figure out what's going on there. Um, so back around here, we set up a, I set up a couple of crafters. I've got one crafter for each of the alloy smelters inside of there. We've got the things that we know we're going to have to use the alloy smelter for like redstone alloy and fused quartz. And in here we've got what we got pulsating iron and solarium down here. We've got uh, energetic alloy and electrical steel. Down here should be dark steel and vibrant. Uh, there's the dark steel, there's the vibrant, perfect. Um, over here on this side, this is where we're exporting, like the iron ore goes to this top one up here. Uh, this one here should be tin from IC2. Isn't that this tin right here? Three, three, it is. Um, why is that not, oh, I bet I know why. <gasps> Because it's never, ah, uh, uh, it's all, well, no, it's always, yeah, it's always active. So why is it not pulling in active with signal? No. Redstone mode, all active without signal. Is it still, it's not doing anything, huh? That's kind of weird. But that is definitely IC2 tin ore. That's odd. That's definitely odd. Why is that not working? Huh. But it ran through all of the gold that I had. It ran through all of the uh, copper that I had. I mean, I've got nothing else in there, but I do have uh, lead and I do have tin. And lead was down here, wasn't it? So there's that, there's that. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Exporter. They're all set up to be always active. Hmm. That's, uh, that's strange. Oh, I wonder, did I, did I run out of space? I don't think I would have, though. I'm pretty sure I haven't run out of space yet. It really shouldn't have run out of space, because as we pulled the ores out, it would have been putting, oh yeah, we're not out of space. There's still a little bit on that one, a little bit on that one, and this one is, I mean, this one doesn't have hardly anything on it. So that's kind of odd. That's odd that that would do that. I'm wondering why. Uh, uh-huh. Anyway, um, anyway, I'll show you what I, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you how I did this. Um, first things first, let's get our wrenchy wrench here. So if you look in here, you can see the chest back there. We've got this, uh, we've got this interface right here, and this is on insert mode with an advanced filter. That way we've got a lot of options just in case. One of the ores that we were uh, using the sag mill for gave us appetite, and so I wanted to make sure that that appetite didn't get clogged up in the in the sag mill. So we've got it coming out of the sag mills and going into this chest. We also got uh, from from the coal ore, we got these three things. We got the uh, coal powder, which is cool because we need that for a few things. We got coal, obviously, and we also got diamonds. So, um, so we only got one diamond out of all the coal we had, but, but still that's, you know, that's a free way to get diamonds eventually. So we got that set up that way. And then if you come around back here, you can see that we've also got these uh, importers here. So whatever makes its way over to the uh, alloy smelter, it will um, it will just it'll be pulled right back into the back into the refined storage system. But I do need to figure out why um, I do need to figure out why it's not accepting tin. Uh, if I do this, if I do that, does it make a difference? No. I mean, we got power. Capacitor is good. Um, oh, oh, what? No, what? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, 
let's do let's do this. Let's go to this and let's do uh, pull. Pull. Okay. Let's set this one up for pull also. Oh wait, no, that's right. That should be fine. So let's go here and do this. Make it set for pull. No, still not doing it. That is strange. That is definitely strange. We'll set this one up for the same. Yep, and then this one too. All the rest of them were working, so that's what makes this odd. That shouldn't matter, but hmm, it might. Uh, and all that's good down there. So anyway, we've got the uh, we got the pipes coming out. So this is set up to once this is once this has output in its uh, inventory, it just gets sucked right out. And then all of the filters over here are set up to let only certain things in and uh, and get those processed, which is pretty awesome. Um, now. The other thing that we wanted to look at, that we were looking at last week, had to do with the uh, with reliquary, and that was duplicating Nether stars. So Chokester suggested that I um, that I go and look at my configs and make sure that my configs were all okay. And so I did that. I went into the server and I checked all the config files and everything is there. The X Reliquary config file is in there. All of the recipes for the uh, Tome of Alchemistry are correct as far as what it's supposed to be uh, set up for. And that's working just fine. But no matter what I do, I cannot, uh, I cannot take this Tome right here and I cannot take this Nether Star right here and duplicate it. It does not work. No output. And I don't think it matters where I put this. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I put it there or there or there. I can try it down here too. Nope. And up here. Uh, nope. And if we, you know, put this in any slot going around, it just doesn't seem to matter. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. It's, uh, it's definitely troubling. It's definitely uh, kind of a bummer that it's not working. I mean, I'm going to keep working with it and see if I can figure it out, but it is definitely not. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to do, one last thing I wanted to do for this, uh, uh, for this ore processing area downstairs uh, at least for at least for now is I wanted to put some lights in because I've got torches everywhere in this place there are torches on every surface everywhere around and I've got some of these lights um, some of these ender IO lights uh, the powered ones and so we we could set it up so that we would send a redstone signal to it to turn it off but I wanted to put them in in kind of strategic locations so like I'd put one maybe like right here and then one over say here and one say right here inside the door this way and that should be enough to keep this place lit up while I was while I was putting some of this stuff in there was a there were some dark spots and I got I got creepered and so it blew a few things up and I, I want to make sure that we can avoid that because you know how much I hate creepers but uh, let's go ahead and put one here and one mm, one here for sure and then if I put one if I put one here, that should definitely light this space up. So now all I got to do is get up above and uh, and put some power in. And I should be able to get power from, say, like right here because uh, there is power back behind this block here. So if I just come up and then come across and kind of tee it out and then put some facades on it, we should be in good shape. So let me go ahead and do that. And, uh, and when I come back, we'll talk about what we're going to do today. So hang tight, sit tight, and I'll be right back not bad if i do say so myself that looks pretty good i also did some chisels and bits i took out a little corner here to kind of give it a little texture did the same thing over here did the same thing up here i might do that down this hallway too i might raise this hallway up one level one level and do the same thing with these blocks on this side so that it kind of looks like a uh you know, kind of like a maybe like a rounded beam or something. I don't know. Um, but I think that gives it a little bit more character. I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. Um, but I'm going to call this room here, I'm going to call it basically done. I do need to still figure out what's going on with those two ores, the, the lead and the tin. But uh, other than that, I think we're in good shape. If I take uh, uh, ores, so if I take a stack of lead, put that one back, and a stack of tin, and put that one back. If I, uh, well, I don't remember which ones were which. This one here wasn't working. So let's put 
tin in that one. And then do the same thing over here. I think this one was one that had lead, so we'll put that in there. I don't know if that's going to help it or not. We'll see. Uh, no, it's definitely not. So anyway, I'll come back to that and see if I can figure out. But what we're going to work on today requires going to the uh, the spawner level. And um, like I like I said, uh, I think I said, I, I've, I've actually had to take a couple of takes at this tonight because I forgot to push the record button in the first go around. And so I may have said this in the first in the first attempt, but uh, we're we're kind of whoops, this is not the spawner level. Let's go down one. Uh, we're kind of running low ish on uh, on wool. So if we come in here and we look at our wool situation, you know, we've got some black wool, we've got some gray wool. I picked those up off of black and gray sheep, obviously. And, but this wool here, this 240 wool that I have that's just white, that's, that's just, again, that's just picking it up off a of sheep. I don't have a steady supply of wool in my, uh, in my world. And so what I'm thinking about doing is in this space right here where we had the uh, wither skeleton farm, I'm thinking about putting a, actually I'm not thinking about it, I'm actually going to do it. We're going to put in a, uh, a sheep farm and it'll be of a similar style to this, but we're not going to use Ender I.O. because we don't have to breed the sheep. We don't have to continuously have a new crop of sheep coming in. We just have to get the wool off of them as the wool grows. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get rid of all of this old RF tool stuff that we don't need in here anymore, clear out any conduits and stuff, and, uh, and bring this up to about the right level, which is going to be about here. So let me go ahead and clear out some of this space, you know, make a, make a hole here, kind of like what we've got down here, and, uh, and then I will show you what we're going to do, and it involves our old friend, um, progressive automation. We haven't touched that since the very early ages, the very early stages of our world, but now that we've got infinite power, I don't see an issue with running that stuff. So we're going to give that a try. So hang tight, and I will be back with you in a minute after I've got a space to work with. Okay, so I've got the uh, I got the space all cleared out down there, and uh, we're going to go in here and let's look at uh, progressive automation. Now, what we need is uh, we need the animal farmer, and then we're also going to need the upgrade for the animal farmer for shearing. Okay, so this allows farmer the farmer to shear animals, which is which is exactly what we want. Um, but we got to start, like we said in the very beginning of this of the of the series, you got to start with the wooden one. So let's see what it takes to make a wooden farmer. Uh, is that right? That is the farm. Yeah, the animal farmer. So we need a chest. We need some uh, some some wood. We need a furnace, and we need a set of shears. So. What all do we have? So we need, okay, so we need a chest, which I think we can auto craft, right? Yeah, we can craft that. So let's go ahead and get that coming. And there's our chest. And then we need a pair of shears. So shears, ah, we have shears, but they're only, um, they're already used. So let's get a couple of pieces of iron, which we have a lot of, awesome. And then we can put this like this and do this over here like this. Uh, boom, ja boom, and doom, and yep, yeah, there we go. So now that will give us our yeah, our animal farmer sweetness. Now, if we take that animal farmer and put it back into our uh, into our inventory and do a farmer like this, now we should be able to upgrade that animal farmer or that wood farmer to a stone farmer. Uh, oh, but we need another pair of shears. Okay, do we need another pair of shears for the iron one? Yes, and do we need another pair of shears for that? So we need three more pairs of shears. So let's go ahead and make those first. Um, iron, not, iron, not Ryan, iron. Uh, let's see, we need one, two, and then one, two, three. There we go. So now let's do the farmer. And let's go ahead and make this one. There it is. Now we'll go ahead and make the iron one. Uh, what else did we need? What was missing? Oh, a block of iron. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go here and do here and do here and iron. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Type wrong much? Man. RB, I tell you. A uh, block of iron. There we go. And I, we're, I'm going to guess we're probably going to need a diamond block, too. See, DI, might as well go ahead and make that while we're at it, because it's probably going to require that, I'm guessing. Okay, so now, farmer. 
So we got the stone farmer. We want to go to the iron farmer next. Boom. Got it. And then the diamond farmer. Oh, <laughs> we did not need diamond block. That's okay. So there we go. We got a diamond farmer now. And the diamond farmer give, is the highest level of farmer that we can have for this thing. We also need to have uh, the shear, the shearing upgrade, this thing right here. So how do, what do we got to do to make that? <laughs> Another pair of shears. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> okay, fine. Iron. And ba-doom, ba-doom, doom. And then come out here like so and make another pair of shears like so. All right. So now that gives us this and that gives us the shearing upgrade. Uh, we're probably also going to need the RF upgrade for this thing so that we can run it off of RF power rather than having to power it on its own the whole time. Um, let's see. At progressive. Oops. At progressive, we want this thing right here, the RF engine. Yeah, RF engine. So we need iron, we need a block of redstone. We might have all of that. Yeah, we do. Good. Okay, so that should be all of that. We're going to need some conduits, which I think we have. Yes, we got plenty. Uh, we're going to need a place for, or need to gonna get, we're going to need to get some power, which I think we might have a uh, power cell in here. Yeah, we got some power cells in here. Good. And that should be everything that we need to run this thing. So let's go downstairs and put it in and see what uh, see what we can come up with. Oh, I'm going to need to go and find a sheep too. Do I have... Actually, I'm going to want a couple of sheep, I'll bet. Do I have... Oh, wow. Big leg spike. Do I have any vials on me? Any soul vials? No. I might... I should have some soul vials in here, though. So, soul vials... Yeah, we got plenty. So take two of those and yeah, we'll take two of those. So I'm going to go ahead and go downstairs and put this thing in the way that I want it. I'm also going to go out and find a couple of sheep. And then when we come back, we'll see if uh, we'll see if it does what we want it to do. So see you momentarily. Okay. I think we're ready. I uh, forgot about one thing, and that was these upgrades. You gotta have. I, I think I made enough. I may have made too many, but you have to have upgrades to expand the range of this thing. So first things first, I want to take and put some power uh, right down here, uh, right down here, like our soul. Um, put this there. Yes, put it off to the side because I need to be able to get um, item conduits as well as power conduits into this thing because we need to be able to put the uh, let's see we need to be able to get items out of this thing and we also need to be able to get power into this thing so start off with the power like so also start off with a item like so and I guess we're probably I guess we're gonna have to do this for a minute uh, let's put the breeder or the farmer on top of this thing and get it all configured up so that it will so that it'll do exactly what we want it to do. So put the farmer, uh, yeah, uh, there we go, put farmer on top of that like that. And then we want this to be an extract always. Um, and then it's going to feed power in, right? And we need to put the uh, RF upgrade in there. We also need to put the uh, shearing upgrade in there, which is here someplace, is it not? Uh oh, where is it? There it is, found it, shearing upgrade, boom. Uh, we also want to put the, uh, I'm going to wait on the up, on the other upgrades, but and now we need to get power to this thing. Let's make ourselves another spot so we can get around this. Uh, so let's put some power to this, like so. So power there, just like that. That should be powering up, yes. Yes, powered up. Uh, actually, I already had this set up one time, because, but that's when I forgot to do the, uh, the upgrades. And then we also need to get the items down here, right? And we'll just bring these over this way until we run out of uh, conduits because I don't have very many. Uh, I want to get it out here to a chest. And then we'll tie the chest in up there. So let's just get, get it over here to a chest. Um, and actually the chest, I guess we can put the chest right here, can't we? Um, here's the chest right here. Okay, boom. Like so. We need to put an importer on the front of the chest so that the... Uh, refined storage system will suck everything out of there 
And then we need to get some conduits. Do I have any conduit? Am I close enough to get my conduits? That's the better question. I may not be. I am. Cool. All right. So con or cable. Get some cables here. We won't need 55 of them, but sounds good, right? So, uh, uh. and like that, like that, that, and that. That should tie that in. So if I take and put, uh, what's something that I don't need? I don't need all of this alabaster. If I put that in there, will it suck? Yep, it's starting to suck out. Good. Can I get in here? Yes, I got speed upgrades. So let's get one, two, three, four of those. Put those in here so it'll suck out faster. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> apparently that's a lot better. Uh, make it go away. Yeah, beautiful. Love it. Okay, so that's going to do that. Now, that should take care of everything down here. Right? Oh, this is going to be insert. So put that to insert. That one's set for export, right? Yes, it is. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think I need to do something with power two because I think I might have killed the power to our. Uh, I think I might have killed the power to our cow farm. It's holding steady at 82,000 RF. I'm not, and I don't seem to. <laughs> I don't seem to have a force field here, which is uh, which is no good. So I might have to fix that too. But uh, now that we got that in, let's go ahead and put this dirt block back like so. And then we should be able to put the sheep in. Uh, so there's a one sheep and two sheep. And like I said, I already sheared one of them. Um, so now if we put this in here like this, we got to put some uh, put that put that in there like that. And then we should just be able to start putting some of these upgrades in. I'll just put them all in, and it should start breeding them, right? And also, yep, there they go. And I'm just gonna let it go until it's out of uh, until it's out of um, wheat. And then also, if we come in here and we put these uh, shears in here, there it goes. And so it sucked it out. And so now we should start seeing our wool population start to climb. Um, 242. It was at 238. I put three in. So that's right. We got 242. Awesome. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Oh, and it's still shearing away. Oh, crap. I got to get him in here. No. Get in there. Get in. Get in. Get in. Uh, we need we need blocks. Uh, these blocks will do for right now. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Those blocks will do for right now. I didn't have any other blocks on me, and I forgot to close that hole up. Oh, boy. So anyway, I think that's going to do it, folks. We've got ourselves a little sheep farm now. We should have a, a good population of sheep coming up here pretty soon. This thing is going to keep uh, shearing off the wool for us and making it so that we have a good, never-ending supply of wool in, in our base. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here below in the comment section, and we'll chat about it. Give me your tips, your trips, your tips, your tricks, your pointers. I got a little tongue-tied there, um, and we'll uh, we'll talk about things and see what else we can do in this world and uh, and make it the best possible world we can. Also, one last thing: giant Cubs fan here, huge Cubs fan here. Been a Cubs fan since the day I could say baseball, and I want to thank the Chicago Cubs for a great season. I want to congratulate them on a great season, and I want to wish them the best of luck in the upcoming National League Championship Series, baby. That's right. We're going for the whole thing. It's going to be awesome. I can't, it tell, I can't tell you how excited I am. Maybe you can hear it in my voice. I am super duper excited. It's so awesome. Um, I went to bed. I went to bed last night before the game was over, and I thought it was over. I thought it was coming back to Chicago for Game Five. I woke up this morning and saw that they scored four runs in the ninth, and it was awesome. Oh, uh, mm. anyway. So anyway, thanks again for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye bye.